has to be the casino then, right? It has to be. I mean, they keep saying like, nah, it's not the casino, but it's like, it has to be, right? Because it, it's an easily disguised thing, right? Small rifle, better disguise the gunshot. No more than 200 meters, I would say 250 tops. No more than 200 meters. I mean, I, I suppose it could have been from the Gattle Hotel, 180 meters. Um, because they were adamant that it wasn't the casino. Well, honestly, I would think it would be the casino. Although, there was the Gallo Hotel right next to the casino. There's the casino there. Yeah. Probably, eh, yeah. And this is coming from the left though right and she was <laughs> she said it was where's it at um I think the shot came from one of the buildings on the right Fell. I was standing to his right, and he fell away from me. Okay, so that's assuming he was shot in the back of the head. So she was standing to the, his right. He fell away from her. He was shot in the back of the head. To his right. Fell away from her. Wait, that can't be right. If she was standing to his right, wait a minute. How does that? How does that work? Because look at the look at the the body here. Right, his he's face down. standing to his right I mean maybe because it would mean that he was he was looking over the balcony right he was looking out the balcony and then his right would be this side not this side she says he fell away, so she couldn't have been standing over here because he fell towards this way. But he wasn't facing this way, he was facing out the balcony. Okay. And that's why she thinks it came from the right. But this is 300 meters away, and there's no way. Um, and then this one here is 150? I mean, it could be that our hotel hmm okay so I was met Young. Need your help. Oh, missing the Gary here. It means that Benny was shot by a sniper when he was out on the balcony. Secretary was with him when it happened. Clean headshot. He was dead on the spot. 
there was anything usual priority attack nobody noticed anything See one of the opposite high rises, but we don't know which one. We start looking into it, and I think we can pretty much rule out the casino. So we, they're pretty much saying it's not the casino. Although I would think it would be, honestly, because of the noise. Even though they're like, "No, nah, there's no way," but you know, it still seems like a thing. But this is our first investigation, so maybe they're going to take it easy on us? Maybe? Alright, bullets. Shot was fired from... Um, Sakura Hotel? I think that's the one I was looking at. Fifty meters. Anything else before we before we do this? Make sure there's nothing else that I have missed. As I have a tendency to miss things. Is that is that highlighted there? No. I don't know why this is I guess I'm supposed to fill it out by sitting down there. Maybe. And I can do it over there. Hmm. Let me make sure I've looked everywhere. I think I have. I mean, it's it's probably just. I mean, this might be just the way it's got to be. I guess. Um, <laughs> smoked in total. Uh, Gara, this news. New sheet. Yeah, I guess I'll just say this Sakura Hotel. But they insist that it's not the casino. I can't even do the casino, can I? Yeah, I can do the casino. Alright. And she said it was one of the ones on the right. Which is consistent with how he fell. So, alright, we're going to try this and see what happens. All right, talk to Young. Neil, I saw you submitted the sheet. We're back to Gary and asking what to do next. I think you should get to the location. Got it. See you later. Okay. Probably have have Gary yell at me or something. How could you possibly say it's that? Gary, any new findings? The bullet probably came from the Sakura Hotel. Good job, Conrad. I'm sending Saito to lock the place down. You head over there. I'll catch up as soon as I can. Listen, about those bodyguards. Cut them some slack. Took some convincing, but they helped me find the bullet that killed Banny. Let's cut them some slack and question them tomorrow when the shock is worn off. When did you have a soft spot for droving extremists? I don't, but these are special circumstances. Anyway, you should get going. I'm on my way. It wasn't until I was on my way back to the train that I noticed the park's obscene size. 
The night was cool, and the mansion district was probably the quietest place in the whole center. It was one of the last spots in the area where buildings hadn't been stacked on top of each other like toy blocks. My head was unusually clear, and to my surprise, I noticed that I was in a good mood. In retrospect, I believe that it stemmed from a sense of purpose driving me forward that night. Uh oh, phone call. Young, what's up? Listen, Neil, the police just got an anonymous tip from Sakura Hotel. Whoever sent it to them didn't provide a lot of details. Just that they had been in contact with a suspicious person. Why so vague? I don't know, but it looks like you definitely got the right building. Thanks, Young. Talk to you later. Cool. At least they're not going to let me keep me hanging here. <laughs> Sakura Hotel. It's at 3 a.m.? 4 a.m.? I didn't quite catch it. Probably 4 a.m. Enter the hotel. Saito. Good evening, Neil. Hey, Saito. Looks like you beat me here. Well, the rest of us are... The rest of us use cars, you know. I know. Let me bring up the speed. We locked down the hotel and told the staff that nobody can go in or out. Holloway is keeping an eye on everybody in the lobby. I flew a drone up to the highest room. Long said that's where the sniper might be. It's empty. Lights out. No signs of life. Figure as much. Snipers don't usually stick around. But I did see lights in the room below. Maybe the guest in there saw or heard something. I'll pay them a visit. The receptionist said that the sniper's room was rented out to a gentleman named Diaz. I got his ID chip number already, currently running a citywide search for it, but without success so far. We know what Diaz looks like. They don't have any surveillance cameras in the hotel. You know how it is. Rich people and their privacy. But no, we don't know what he looks like, but maybe you can find out. I opened a sheet, so let me send that to you. What'd you tell the staff? We have reason to believe that a dangerous criminal escaped from the hotel. Good work. We know if you get a hit on our perp's ID... I'll be inside if you need me. Good luck. Good evening. Good evening. Neil Conrad, CDI. Could you answer a few questions? Naturally. you have any relevant information on Mr. Diaz for me? Anything suspicious? Nothing out of the ordinary. I send all the information we have to your colleague. Payment info, ID number, those kinds of things. I see. I'd like to have a look around Diaz's room. Do you have a universal key card or something? If if it is absolutely necessary, yes, it is. Here you go, sir. Please, but please be careful not to disturb any of our guests at this late hour. Thanks, I will. Good evening, Agent Long, CDI. Hey, Gary. I've got a key card. Let's have a look at Diaz's room. All right, let's get up there. Please keep it down in the corridors if possible. And mind the carpets. <laughs> I'm sure your carpets are already oiled. Uh, do you have anything to say? Watching the witnesses while you're upstairs. Oh, okay. Uh, We have here an almost empty whiskey bottle. And a pretty expensive one of that, judging by the receipts. Hmm. Love this love this music. It is so noir. Piece of paper, it's empty except for a strange hand drawn symbol in the middle. It might be relevant. Hey, Madge. <laughs> Is there romance? Eh, this guy's not really a... Uh, <laughs> this guy is not... 
he's he's very a, he's very much a noir detective. Let me tell you that. <laughs> his the way he interacted with his ex-wife and his and his daughter, not not great, not great at all. Oh, come on, no lady detective colleague of some sort. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll see. We'll see. I mean, there is a there is a forensic uh, lady, so who knows? Fancy bathtub. Maybe the perp used it. We should have the whole bathroom checked for DNA. Okay. Anything else over here? What we got up here like a two-story, two-story like swanky condominium here. Hey Gary, could you come over for a second? Did you find something? I'm pretty sure a piece of the window pane was cut out and put back in. Judging from the blue residue, they used a pocket laser cutting device. You think the sniper could have fired from here? It's possible. He'd have to be a really good shot, though. I also saw a tiny blood stain on the carpet below. Maybe the perp cut himself when he handled the piece of glass? Good work. I'll go back to my post to call DNA guys. Let me know when you're done. Alright. What else do we have here? Okay, yeah, that is the piece of glass cut out. Uh, I like that they highlight things for you so you don't have to go pixel hunting. Okay, so... What, can I not, like, examine this more? The hand-drawn symbol in the middle might be relevant, but I don't know... Like, it won't let me... Can I not pick it up? I can't pick it up, so... Like, if it's relevant, I can't tell what the hand-drawn symbol is. What's the, um... Tell me anything here? Whiskey bottle. An almost empty whiskey bottle and a pretty expensive one at that, judging by the receipt. Cut out glass. A piece of glass was cut out and put back in. A piece of paper. It's empty except for a hand, strange hand-drawn symbol in the middle. Might be relevant. Fancy bathtub. Uh, okay. Can't really... really touch anything, though. Anything else here? I wonder if there's something out here. Oh yeah, that's right. I need to talk to this person down here, if I can. What the? They got stay calm, man. We're with the CDI. And I'm the CEO of Norton Robotic. I'm serious. We're Agent Conrad and Agent Long with the CDI. I'm also serious. I'm Clarissa Norton, CEO of Norton Robotics. Oh. Didn't the CDI teach you to knock first? We're in the middle of a high-profile investigation. Matters still matter. On that note, would you mind calling off your armed drone? Fine. Please make yourselves comfortable. We'd rather stand. You need to answer a couple questions. Everybody wants a piece of me these days. Make it quick. I'm a busy woman. Um, did you hear gunfire earlier? Do you know your upstairs neighbor? Did you hear gunfire earlier? A gun? What kind of war zone is this? Answer the question, please. No, but... Now that you mentioned it, I heard some noise earlier, sometime between 1 and 2. Thought someone had popped a cork. Anything else? Hey, quick, I'm a busy woman. You know your your upstairs neighbor? Here in the hotel? I never saw him. I heard him take a phone call in the corridor earlier, around 11 o'clock. 11 in the evening? In the corridor? I believe he was pacing up and down the hall until the person he called picked up. Then he went to his room. <laughs> Miss Norton knows her worth. <laughs> was it a live conversation or did he get a recorded message from someone off planet? He spoke too, so it must have been a live conversation. What did he say? 
I don't know. I didn't pay much attention. He might not have spoken Garion at all. Anything else? That's all, thanks. You're going to leave me alone now? We might still have to bring you in for questioning. But for now, please stay put and wait for further instruction. Of course I'll stay. My tea isn't even cool enough to drink yet. I'm going to have a whiskey, but that stuff tastes like cheap knockoff around here. Damn. Knocking the whiskey? Jeez. Jeez. Um, but here's the thing, though. But she said that he had a conversation in the... In the hallway. And it looked like there was a space for two more clues. I don't know if that's true or if it's just like a red herring that they put in there. Um... But I don't see, like, I don't see a phone or anything, so the guy must have taken it with him. There's also, I feel like there's definitely got to be something else, though. Something, something feels missing. Can't do anything in there. I think we're done up here. Let's go downstairs. A couple of potential witnesses are waiting in the lobby. We really need to track that Diaz guy down. Maybe one of them has seen him leave or even spoken to him. Go ahead and question them. You also have a look around. It's no crime scene, but you never know what you're, where you'll find a clue. I'll be waiting at the reception. Come talk to me once you think you're we're done with this place. Alright, so maybe the other clues are down below here. Daito, anything new? Well, I tried to find out how Diaz escaped from the hotel. Manny was shot at 139. I suppose that Diaz left shortly after that, probably between 145 and 215. Do we have an idea when he left? The big question right now is how. There's a functioning ID scanner at the door that only picked him up once when he arrived. That means he can't have left through the front door. Will he still be here? No, I've had my drone scan the whole building for his ID twice already. He must have gone out through the back door, but you don't go get far that way by foot. My theory is that he was picked up by a getaway driver in the backyard. There is a vehicle tracker on the launch pad that scans each car at the exact time it lands there. Cars aren't allowed to stick around for long on the launch pad. It's just meant for quick deliveries and pickups. Here's the thing, I went to ask the guard to pull the data for me a couple minutes ago. He said someone had turned it off earlier tonight, swore it wasn't him, and that he hadn't noticed. We have to find out who it was. If we confront whoever helped Diaz get away, we might find out where he went. I'm sending a sheet to your cell. Submit it as soon as you think you know who disabled the tracker. Maybe the traffic data will still help, even though parts are missing. The guard said your AR module can read it directly from the scanner on the launch pad. Roger that. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Can I ask you a question? Happy to help. Um... Did you see anyone leave between 1.30 and 2 now? What does Diaz look like? You know what Mr. Diaz looks like? Unfortunately, I've never met him. The reception wasn't occupied when he checked in last night. He used our electronic check-in service. Thank you. Happy to help. Uh, about the vehicle tracker. My colleague said that the guard is in charge of the vehicle tracker in the backyard. Is that correct? Yes, Mr. Smith. Is the tracker ever turned off? Turned off? No, it operates around the clock. It doesn't usually break or have hiccups of any sort? I don't think so. It was installed the day before yesterday. I can't imagine that it's already acting up. But Mr. Smith can certainly answer your questions about the tracker in more detail. He's usually not in contact with our clients. I apologize if he appears untrained. Thank you. Happy to help. And I pretty much know he's not going to see anybody, but let's do it anyway. Do you see anybody leave between 1.30 and 2.15? No, I was fast asleep until I got called down to the lobby. I have my own room upstairs. Your own room? Do you live here? Mostly, yes. Thank you. That's all for now. And also strange. Uh, okay. So, oh, we got a pianist. Hello, Mr. Pianist. 
Did anyone, did anyone ask you to play the shotgun by the moonlight? <laughs> I'm going to snipe the, I'm going to snipe the president. I have a, it's something like that. <laughs> and did he call you Sam and tell you to play it again? Excuse me, sir. How can I help you? Um, see anybody leave between 1.30 and 2.15? I was right here all night, but I really didn't pay attention to that. Sorry. We gave a concert earlier and I kept playing for the people that stuck around. Thank you. How can I help you? Uh, have you met Mr. Diaz? Diaz, the guest from the 8th floor? I think I talked to him yesterday. He was having a late night drink at the bar after he arrived. I was packing up my things when he went to his room. I asked him about the viola he was carrying. Oh, good old putting the shotgun in the, in the, in the viola case. <laughs> Quite an expensive model, I have to say. Did he show it to you? A viola, huh? Did he show it to you? No, he kept it in his case. He generally wasn't the talkative type. What does he look like? He's a redhead with a beard. Thank you. That's all for now. Oh. Beware of redheads carrying violas. Uh, anything else to interact with? Excuse me, madam. Could I ask you a few questions? Okay. Um... Have you ever met Mr. Diaz? Diaz? Doesn't ring a bell. Don't think he ever came to my bar. Thank you. I have another question. Uh, did you see anybody leave between 1.30 and 2.15? No, I was back in the kitchen cleaning some glasses. I had a lot of dishes to do after the concert tonight. Can I go now? I have a young boy at home and the sitter can't stay much longer. I'm sorry, but the hotel's in lockdown until further notice. Might want to give them a call. It could be a while until you can leave. Thank you. That's all for now. Thanks for nothing. Jeez. You're a bartender and you didn't see a damn thing? <laughs> I only I only work here. I don't talk to the patrons. <laughs> I just take orders. Oh. Door slammed shut on me. Evening? Could you answer a few questions? <laughs> okay. Um... About the vehicle tracker. I heard that the vehicle tracker was turned off tonight. You happen to know why that is? No idea, really. It's supposed to be running around the clock. Are you sure it was turned off and didn't just malfunction? Pretty sure. It said it was offline. I just turned it back on and it seems to be running fine now. Plus, it's only been there for two days. It's a good brand, too. Can it be turned on or off from anywhere other than this booth right here? No. It's just been you here all night? Nobody else? Well... Sometimes I take a break. I usually ask Felicia or Bernard. Bernard? Bernard? Is there, is there a letter missing there? Bernard? Uh, to take over and keep an eye on everything. Felicia or, or B-Dude? Felicia is the bartender, the one who won't shut up about her stupid kid. <laughs> well, this guy's a winner. Bernard's the pianist. Pianist. They take over for you. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm just cracking myself up here. Bernard the penis. Uh, <laughs> they take over for you tonight. Yeah, let me think. Alicia at twenty two hundred. Uh, Bernard at forty five. Oh forty five. Both for about fifteen minutes. Well, okay. So if Felicia was there at. 2200, so that's uh, 10 o'clock. And the penis was there at um, 1245 a.m. And we know this guy was out the door between 1.30 a.m. and 2 a.m. I think it was like 1.45 and 2 or something like that. And then the last one to touch anything was the penist. And the penist was the only one who seems to know uh, Diaz. Um, although Felicia wasn't giving anything up, which leads me to believe that she's, you know, 
just plain dumb with me could be a thing too. All right. Thanks. Um, have you met Mr. Diaz? Yes, who's that? Yes, from the eighth floor. He arrived last night. No, I haven't talked to any guests in a while. Thanks. Now, do you see anybody leave? Or a car picking someone up? Would be. A bunch of people got picked up after the concert. I'm more interested in people going in than out. I see. When was the concert over? Started at 10.30. Took about three hours, but some people stuck around the bar a little longer. For three hours, that's 11.30, 12.30, 1.30. So the concert... Oh, man, this guy really timed it. This guy left right when concert goers were leaving so that he could blend in with them leaving. Um, I'm stuck around the bar a little longer, I think. Well, for now. Okay, so he slipped out the back with the concert goers. That's interesting. No, I want to wanna get in this door. There you go. Hmm. Excuse me, madam. Can I ask you a few questions? Okay. What about the vehicle tracker? The vehicle tracker was turned off earlier, and I'm trying to find out why. Do you know anything about it? I heard that you briefly took over for the guard a while ago. I did, but why would I turn off the tracker? I wouldn't even know how. Thank you. That's all for now. Shifty. Shifty, shifty. All right, Bernard. How about you? Excuse me, sir. How can I help you? Uh, the vehicle tracker. The vehicle tracker was turned off earlier tonight. I'm wondering if you might know something about it. Do you stand in for the guard tonight? I did, but just for a few minutes, and I touched nothing. Was the tracker still turned on while you were there? I really don't know. I just sat there until he came back. Thank you. That's all for now. I'm not sure why we why we're telling them that it was turned off, because that's just that's just encouraging them to lie to me about them not knowing anything. Um, what what does our what does our clues look like here now? A few more, maybe. That's what this is. Is this other one? Yeah, because there's like none here, so there must be like two more that I'm that I'm missing. So I fucked that guy already. He, no more real interactions with him. What about the vehicle tracker stuff? Did I I didn't really Look around to see if there's anything... Oh, here we go. Sorry, am I interrupting something? No? Uh, going for a smoke? Yep, might as well. It sounds like you're going to keep us here for a while. Probably. Hey, I have a question. You always store your whiskey in the backyard? It's an expensive brand to just leave out here. Oh, looks like they forgot to bring in part of tonight's shipment. I'll let the bartender know. Was the whiskey dropped off here by car? Yeah, the alcohol often comes in pretty late. Remember when they landed tonight? No? Oh, wait, I do, actually. I saw them arrive when I went back in after a break. It was precisely at 22.10. Uh, wait, 22 is 10, 10, 10, right? So, was I saying the wrong time before? I might have been saying the wrong time before. Anyway, um, so 22, 10. Are you sure about the time? Yeah, I was looking at my cell right at that moment because I got a message. Thank you. Uh, they just dropped the whiskey off? Hmm. Oh. Can I interact with her? I have nothing to do with this. 
can't interact with her anymore. So, wait a minute. Great full of expensive looking whiskey. And there was whiskey in the, uh, in the thing. Whiskey glass up there. Can't interact with any of them anymore. Can't go back upstairs either. I'm definitely missing something here. What am I supposed to do to like can I interact with the bar or something? What about this guy? No more questions for him, huh? tracker off and there was some whiskey coming in so it's possible they turned the vehicle tracker off because they were getting a special shipment of whiskey that they didn't want anyone to know about and so doing they helped this guy get away as well something here let's look at our um, our sheet though um, I don't know who turned off vehicle tracker and he's murdered her hair is red we probably have a bottle. Oh, I have a, a viola case. But what was the, um, Tracker, guards. Alicia at 2200. So, okay. The shipment of whiskey came in at 2210. And they were both on duty for 15 minutes. So, Alicia had to be the one that turned off the vehicle tracker because she was probably getting a special shipment of stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, that's, that's, that's my thought there. Um, the concert let out at 2030, 20 minutes later. I mean, no, the concert started at 2030 and it let out at 21, 22, 23.30? So, that was out before you left, theoretically? Okay. You said some people hung around till later. He's a redhead with a beard. He's a viola. Case. Okay. So then... Is 
the beard is so he had he had a beard a red beard so I imagine it's a red beard he's a red head now I have a viola case all right and then the tracker was turned off by the bartender They didn't say what is weird that they're asking me about his beard because they just said he, he was just a redhead with a beard. Right? But why are they asking me what color beard he has if he's a redhead? Right? That's a weird a weird question. No one else has asked anything. Unless I was supposed to find some heirs or something. Oh, you know what? They didn't actually tell me that the DNA actually happened or anything. My DNA's got away. They didn't bring the DNA guys in yet. Do you think they would find some hair in that in the, in the uh, tub there? All right. So I think I think I can at least do escape here. I think the bartender helped him escape. Although, I don't think it's le it's not letting me uh, put that. I don't know if I have to sit down in order to submit it. It just says ongoing. So, I think I need to get I think it's requiring me to get this other clue. Just don't know where it's at. Full of expensive looking whiskey. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's right. I can scan this for the logs. Um, so, 1900, 1936, 2015, 2020, 22, 26, 21, 22, 04. That's the log? But it, so it logged things up to 2204. And then it didn't log anything else. So then it wasn't the bartender. Because it logged that car coming, right? Or am I... Am I going crazy here? Oh wait, no. 2204. And she took over at... Uh, what was it? Um, 21... Uh, when did she take over? She took over at twenty two hundred. Took over twenty two hundred, and the logs stopped at twenty two oh four, and she was expecting a thing at 2210 according to the bartender uh, the thing came at 20 the, the whiskey shipment came at 2210 yeah it had to be her then that's when the logs stopped yeah 2210 yeah, 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 yeah. okay alright go sit down and submit our logs Okay. Down here and uh sheets. Yeah, the bartender turned that off. So
Talk to the bartender. I have a feeling I know why. Excuse me, I'm afraid we have to have another chat. I've really got to get home soon. I don't know if you have kids. You've got to take care of. The guard told me that you took over for him during his break at 2200. After that, no more vehicles were scanned on the launch pad. However, the guard said that people were picked up in the backyard all night. According to the pianist, there was a delivery shortly after 10, but there's no record of it. The tracker must have already been turned off. Can to explain what's going on here? I don't know what you're talking about. If you won't be honest with me now, I'll have to take you in for questioning. What? No, I have to get home. Mr. Diaz is, is suspected of being involved in an interplanetary murder case. I have to tell you how serious it is to be a complicit in something like that. Murder case? Shit, I... I didn't know what he was up to, okay? It was about the money. Did he kill someone? Please tell me everything from the start. Diaz was at my bar last night. He offered me a drink. At first I thought he was going to hit on me. Then he said he needed my help, that he was expecting a visit today, and that his visitor wanted to stay under the radar. He asked me if I could do him a favor and turn the car tracker off. Offered me a bunch of money for it. I had to take it. Really, I really needed it, okay? I didn't think it would do any harm. I assumed it was about a secret lover, maybe a famous one. Wouldn't be the first time around here. It's also pretty commonplace that our guests ask for special favors. This was a pretty small one, honestly. Wow, okay. <laughs> Is she turning tricks and doing a bartend at the same time? And then I saw Diaz leave tonight. He was picked up by a guy in a white van. I realized he had lied to me and I got cold feet. That's when I realized, that's when I called in the anonymous tip. That was you. Why didn't you say right away that he got away in a van? I, I don't know. I, I panicked, okay? I, I said he was suspicious and I hoped you'd take it from there. I didn't want to implicate myself by drawing attention to the car. I see. A white van, huh? Did you catch any more details about the car or the driver? No, I'm sorry. What does Mr. Diaz look like? He's a skinny tall guy with red hair and a red beard. Yeah, like, I mean, if he's got red hair, of course he's got a red beard. Please, you have to understand. I didn't think it was a big deal. You can't tell anyone. I can barely make ends meet. I can't lose my job or go to jail. I have a son. Uh, I'll think about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, lady, you... You're implicit in a in a freaking murder i tell you, you you done you done screwed up i don't care how many kids you got you done screwed up uh yeah, yeah i've got all this so i just can't submit this sheet yet until i talk to gary then all right i think i might know how our guy escaped he bribed the bartender to turn off the vehicle tracker in the backyard after she did that, a white van came to pick up Diaz. The bartender gave the anonymous tip to the police when she realized that Diaz had lied to her. Sounds like a risky plan, banking on the cooperation and silence of a stranger like that. I think that part was improvised. The tracker was installed only two days ago. Don't you think she might have been an accomplice from the get-go? Unlikely. If she was, I don't think she would have called in a tip. Maybe. But we should have her arrested to be sure. Leave her be. Honestly, just leave her be. We've got bigger fish to fry. What are you talking about? She's clearly involved in this whole conspiracy, knowingly or not. Did something she thought was insignificant to make some extra money. Probably underpaid and she has a kid. Do we really want to risk her going to jail? You should have thought of that. Knowing makes us complicit. We'd be breaking the law. Law and justice aren't always the same thing. Gentlemen, I've been looking into that white van while you were talking. A vehicle matching the description passed by a nearby security camera at about the right time. Pretty sure that's it. I followed its trail. It was last scanned a few minutes ago and seems to be parked now. Where? In the lower layers, just a few train stops away. Excellent work, Conrad. You go and check it out. I'm waiting for the chief here. He's on his way. Wanted to see this place for himself. And I'll get back to HQ. I'm of more help with the database at my fingertips. Copy that. I'll catch the next train and keep you posted.